Hi and hello guys. Uh, today in this video, I'll show you all as to how you can get the Lineage OS version 18.1 that is the Consta Kangs build uh, for Raspberry Pi 4 board up and running along with Google applications or the gaps. So like in the previous instances, I will not be mirroring Consta Kangs build. You can head over to his web page and grab a copy of the operating system. Okay, so for applications, uh, usually we uh, download the open gaps uh, version of the Google applications or the gaps files. So for Android 11 uh, builds, the open gaps is not yet ready. Uh, it's not ready for prime time yet. So as a result, uh, we need to use a gaps version called the bit gaps. And again, I will leave the link for this page in the description of this video. See, if you just keep scrolling down uh, this page, you should find a post which says downloads and under the download options, uh, you will have two versions of the gaps file. One is the ARM version and another is the ARM64. So please download the ARM version of the gaps for Android R. Okay, so there is an issue right now as I'm making this video and these gaps folders are turning up empty without any uh, files in them. So for time being, you can use the gaps file that I have hosted in my mega account. I will leave the link for that in the description of this video. See in the upcoming times, this could be fixed. This issue could be fixed and you can have the gaps directly downloaded from the BitGaps web page. Okay. So now that we have got both these required files, the operating system file and the gaps file, uh, first logical thing to do is to transfer the gaps onto a thumb drive. So next, um, in order to burn the Lineage OS image onto the SD card, I am using the default Raspberry Pi Imager software. See, if you don't have this uh, Imager software already installed, you can download a copy from the official Raspberry Pi website and then install it on your PC. So run the Raspberry Pi Imager. The first screen keeps scrolling down until you get to a section which says custom image click on that select the android build that you just downloaded and proceeding further select your sd card and then confirm to write so once this process is done uh, you can remove your sd card from the pc plug it onto the raspberry pi and then boot your pi okay so now the pi is booting and uh, you can see the Lineage OS logo appear on your screen. So the Pi has booted uh, into the Lineage OS. The setup process is typical of any other Lineage OS builds. Just follow the on-screen instructions and you should have the uh, Lineage OS setup up and running in no time. Okay, so if you wish, uh, you can have the location services enabled. Choose next. And, uh, and once again, if you wish, you can send the diagnostic information to Lineage OS team. And again, it's your choice. Uh, you don't need a pin or a pattern. Choose skip. And then choose start. So before uh, proceeding further, I'd like to say that this build is really uh, smooth and stutter free. I really hope you understand what I mean. So previously we have used uh, Lineage OS builds with Raspberry Pi 3 uh, that have been incredibly slow and difficult to use. But all these builds for Pi 4 boards have been top notch from Consta. He has put in a lot of effort into these builds and uh, it has come out really well. So in order to install gaps, first we need to enable the option to boot into the recovery. To do that, open the app draw and then open the settings app. And then scroll down and click on system from there choose gestures within that choose power menu options and under power menu enable advanced restart options okay so now you can go back to your home screen uh, the key to reboot or shut down the build is f5 so f5 is the power key press and hold the f5 and you should get uh, different options which says emergency power off and restart click on restart option and now uh, you will see two options before you click on recovery 
to boot into TWRP. Okay, so now TWRP is loading. Swipe to allow modifications. So first up, uh, let's mount the different partitions. Click on mount and then select all the partitions. And now head back and choose install. Click on select storage option and then select your USB on which you have the gaps. Choose OK. And now click on the gaps file that you just copied. Make sure to leave these two options unchecked. Do not have them checked and now swipe to confirm flash. Okay, so this will take a couple of minutes to complete. After the gaps installation is done, choose wipe Dalvik and then swipe to wipe. So after this is done, click on back, hit back, hit back into the main menu and then choose reboot and then system. So the process has uh, changed considerably. No, you no longer uh, you need to flash another file to boot into your system. Consta Kang has taken all that work off our shoulders and now booting into the system from recovery has become very easy really. So you won't be asked to set up your Google account yet. So the process is different with the different builds. So with the Android TV builds, you'll go through the Android TV setup process again after you flash the gaps. That is not the case with this build. So you now if you open up the app drawer, you should find the Play Store app over there. So first, uh, connect to Wi-Fi. And once you are connected to Wi-Fi, click on sign in and then go through the usual uh, Google sign in process to activate the Play Store or sign in to the Play Store. So now that we have got the Play Store installed, I will uh, install Disney Plus, Amazon Prime, uh, YouTube and do a couple of tests. Okay. Okay. So now I have got the different apps installed. First, let me launch the Disney Plus. So upon launching the Disney Plus app, I see that uh, this app has not been optimized yet. So still this app appears in portrait mode. See if you want you can launch your content and then use the full screen option. Okay so as it is uh, this particular version of the Disney Plus app has not been uh, perfected for the Android 11 build yet. So the Amazon Prime app works really well with this build. The interface has been optimized. Uh, you can just scroll through easily and pick the content that you want. But one thing what I observed uh, here is there was no option to change the uh, resolution of the content that is being played. I don't know if it is an issue with this build or if it is an issue with the app or whether the app has not been optimized for Android version 11. But I couldn't find an option to change the resolution of the content that is being played. Or maybe I am wrong and I am looking at the wrong place. Okay, so it's just my observation over with respect to Amazon Prime. So let's move over to some YouTube stuff. You get a GPU upgrade and it just okay. pops between the two. So this, this build plays 1080p videos of YouTube really well. At once. So it plays some, some here, uh, 1080p 60 fps video as well. So as you can see there is uh, some stutter in this video. Maybe this has to do with the codec of the video. So moving over to another video. So even this one plays really well. Okay so let's test another one quickly okay so that is pretty much it guys so that is how you can have the lineage os version 18.1 up and running on your raspberry pi 4 board thanks to consta kang and that is how you can install gaps on it as well so this build is really neat lag free and stutter free and see if you have a 
idea of using Raspberry Pi 4 board for your car entertainment system. I think this build uh, will really come in handy for you guys. Okay, so that is pretty much it. I really hope that you find this video useful and informative. Thanks for watching. Take care and bye bye.